What's going on guys? This is Marcel from One Dapper Street. Thanks so much for tuning in into today's Vance lookbook video. Since I recently posted my first Vance video and you guys requested, I shared some outfit inspiration. Here is 12 outfits with four pairs of Vans. Let's go. We're starting off the video in a simple pair of black jeans and a white t-shirt. So you'll see that the first three looks are a little bit more toned down and very much like what I consider Vance to be, which is very street a little bit more youthful and a little bit more rugged. I'm starting off in a pair of black authentic low tops in black and white. So you will obviously see that I took that color inspiration, if it's, it's not even color, but that contrast inspiration and took it to the entire outfit. We got a white t-shirt with a black leather jacket up top, rolled up the jeans a little bit and it's a simple edgy look. Speaking of edgy, look number two, again, a pair of black jeans, but this time we have large rips in the knees. And this, I think this look for me is gonna be the most, what, what I think of when I think of Vans and especially of like the authentic type of aesthetic. Yet again, black jeans, white t-shirt, but then a hoodie up top where there's a little bit of white integrated. We still have the t-shirt peeking out a little bit. So we're picking up that color scheme again and colors and air quotes. Super simple, super relaxed and very much what Vans means to me in my head. For look number three, we're switching it up just a tiny bit before we really explore some different options for the Vans that we have sitting on the floor there. Um, so here we have a pair of gray Topman jeans that are once again, very ripped up and rolled up again. I really like rolling up my jeans till I can't help it. And then we're having a little bit of fun with color. So here we have an orange t-shirt from Uniqlo underneath a black Oxford from Uniqlo that I'm wearing open. So it's really just a little bit of a pop of color rather than just sticking to the black and white aesthetic that we had on the first couple of looks, but just showing you that you don't have to keep it that minimal. You can have a little bit of fun with it. But let's get into something a little bit more creative. Here we have a pair of check pants from Zara and I'm wearing the all white old school Vans and I'm struggling with the shoehorn <laughs> just a little bit. Um, you guys actually kind of inspired me for this look with the fan review videos that we've done and a few of you had submitted check pants with Vans. So I wanted to try it out and see what I would come up with. So on top I have a white Paige Henley and on top of that, I have a denim jacket from Uniqlo and I decided to go for a darker denim, which most of you guys had chosen to go with a lighter denim and I like that, but I wanted to dress it, just make it a little bit more dressy and I thought the uh, darker denim did that. So that's look number four. For the next look, we're, I wanted to kind of prove to myself and hopefully to you as well as I'm dropping my t-shirt, um, that you can wear Vans very dressy. So we're back into the white old schools. You'll see that I'm wearing a pair of gray suit pants that are part of a suit from Tom Hilfiger. They're checked, a uh, really, really low key pattern, a white t-shirt and then the suit jacket just slung over the shoulder at first. But even if you put it on, I think it's a look that works. So Vance, even though it's a skater brand from 50 years ago, I feel like it can have by now, if you, if you opt for a very clean one, you have the option of dressing it up and just push up your sleeves, obviously a little bit, make it more casual and that's a great way to do that. Next up, we're starting with an all white lower half where we have a pair of white jeans from J Brand that I picked up a little while ago. I've been wearing them all summer. You guys know I love white pants and in this case, I'm wearing these white pants again with the old schools. And then it looks like an entirely white look, which upon closer uh, examination, it actually isn't. The shirt is from Canali and it's a white and blue striped tap color shirt. I absolutely love it. I love Canali. It's a beautiful Italian brand. It's a really nice vibe. And I, I, I could see myself wearing this like somewhere in the south of Italy in the boat that I don't own yet. <laughs> For look number seven, we have a pair of raw denim jeans and making the whole look a lot darker. For the third pair of Vans that we're looking at today, once again, the old school in navy and white. And now you can actually see that, that trademark white stripe of the Vans on the side of the shoe, which kind of got lost in the white on white because it's white on white. But uh, it's a classic symbol, it's Vans. And that's also the color inspiration for the upper half, where I chose to go with a super simple horizontal striped shirt from Uniqlo in navy and white, picking up the color, moving the feet, and just being happy in a very, very chill summer look. Look number eight, we have my pair of pants that I designed for design now. Those are still available. I think a lot of you have asked in the past. Uh, they are still available on designnow.com. I'll leave the link down below. Anyway, so now we're, we're experimenting with uh, yet another type of bottom with a pair of cargo pants. Still, we're on the navy and white old schools. And up top, we have an Oxford shirt from Uniqlo in navy, unbuttoned fairly far down, untucked. So you have a relaxed look, but it's still somewhat put together because it's a cargo pant and a dress shirt up top. For look number nine, we have a pair of light wash Zara jeans that are ripped up and they have a little chain detail. 
The light wash I think is gonna go really well with the navy. So we have a blue color scheme going on for the look. Up top, also continuing that blue color scheme with the blue base of this floral printed short sleeve shirt that I picked up from Express just about a couple of weeks ago. So it's a really, th this to me is a really youthful, young, like preppy, fun look. I think it's a chain and like, and, and the shirt, uh, it, to me it, it definitely feels a lot more on the youthful side. Look number 10, we have a pair of white jeans yet again. You guys know I love white jeans, so you'll see a few of those in my videos, especially this summer. These ones are ripped up from Rag and & Bone and up top we have a great t-shirt from Uniqlo that I bought in a size large, so it's a little bit more oversized. And then we're introducing some actual color after the fake quote unquote color of the navy, some yellow. And I absolutely love these yellow old schools. I think they're, you know, happy feet, clearly. I think they make any outfit really pop. So even something as simple as this, where you roll up the sleeves a little bit, you have ripped jeans, but then the shoes really carry the outfit. For look number 11, we are exploring the second to last pair of pants as an option. That's a pair of chinos. These black chinos are from H&M. You'll usually see me wear, uh, when I wear color, I'll try and pick that color back up. So up top right now, I have a, a white tank top on from Uniqlo and usually I try and find a yellowish shirt to pick that back up. But in this case, I didn't really have anything. The yellow is kind of specific, so I went for a complementary color. And yellow and blue are two complementary colors. In this case, I chose to wear a soft wash cotton shirt from Massimo Dutti and then finished off the look with a woven belt from Jay Lindeberg, super stretchy in navy. So we have a black base for the outfit, but then really try to make it a little bit more summery with the other pieces that we have in the outfit. Last but not least, of course, we also want to take a look at some shorts that go really well with the Vans. In this case, I'm wearing a pair of shorts from H&M that's ripped in white. And uh, I apologize if the rest of the looks was very like long bottom heavy. I, I, you guys know I don't love wearing shorts all that much, but I really like this pair. They fit nicely and then combined with this life after denim floral shirt that's uh, kept in a really minimal colorway and it's really light, so it's great for the summer. This is the ultimate summer look for me where you can have a little bit of fun with the color of the shoes to just really make that outfit pop a little bit more. And that's it from me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you soon with the next one. Until then, Stay happy, guys.